Hey guys, we are going to do a little bit of star practice today. Um, we haven't done a lot of it, but I do want you to know how they have tested some of these objectives in the past. And as you know, we've been working on constant rate of change. Delta Y over Delta X, which is always M and sometimes K. So our first question says, at a school carnival, tickets can be purchased to participate in different activities. The table shows the total cost for different numbers of tickets. What is the constant of proportionality that relates Y, the total cost, to X, the number of tickets purchased? Now, remember, it's telling us right now that this is proportional. I don't even have to check. It's already telling us that when we do delta y over delta x, that not only is it m, it's also k. I know this because it's saying what's the constant of proportionality, so we know it's proportional. So what we do is, remember our delta y, okay, so from $2 to $3 is how much money, right? How about from three to five? Well, that's two, so that's a little different, right? How about five to 750? How much is it from $5 to 750? And then what about $7.50 to $12.50? Okay, so it looks like if I was looking at this at first glance, it does not look, it doesn't even look like it's linear, but right now I'm only looking at delta y, okay? So I have a delta y of 1, 2, 250, and 5, okay? And I probably need to move this over a little bit so it doesn't interfere with my table. So it is... 1, 2, 250, and 5, okay? Now, what's my delta x here? 8 plus what is 12? So with the 1, it goes over 4, okay? How about from here to here? 12 to 20. Count up or subtract, and you should get eight, right? Now, I can keep going. That one's 10, 20 to 30, and that one's 20. So, 10, 20. So, the problem is when I come down here, all of these are decimals, and we always do it in fractions, right? Now, if you know what this one is, you're actually good because if it's constant of proportionality, these should all be the same. I know what one fourth is, but if you don't, you would divide it. Four into one, zero. Four into ten, two. And I have two left. Four into twenty is five. So right now, this is looking like the right answer. This one is not because four doesn't go into one four times. I cannot fit it in there. Okay, and therefore, 4 won't go into 1 one time, so this one doesn't work, okay? So just to be on the safe side, I could divide any of these. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm just going to divide this small one. 2 divided by 8. 8 goes into 2, 0. Decimal, decimal, 0. 8 into 20, 2. How much is left? Four. Zero. Pull down the zero. What about eight into forty? Okay. So look what we got. Same thing. Whenever I divide this, I mean basically when I divide this by ten, it moves it back one. Okay. So it would be 0.25. Okay. So a lot of students, if this was a whole number, they would get it, but because it's a decimal it throws them off. So 
try not to overwhelm yourself. Just try to do like just do the easiest numbers when it's constant of proportionality. Okay. Okay. So the next one is number two, and I'm going to have to decrease the size of this so you can see it. And it says, Pamela rode her bike at a constant rate of change of 0 0.1 kilometers per minute. That's the constant rate of change. Okay. Which table represents y, the number of kilometers Pamela rode her bike in x minutes? Okay. So notice x and y. We're not trying to figure out the table. We're trying to figure out basically which one of these tables is right and goes with our constant rate of change. We have a constant rate of change of 0.1. Okay. Okay. Now, I have to go up a little bit. So let's look at this one. Okay. Just to see what, if there's anything we can get rid of. So from here to here, 0.1 and 0.1. Well, if I subtract that, don't I get zero? Right? So it really doesn't even matter that this one is five. Okay? Because it's going to be zero over five, which is zero. And remember, we're wanting 0 0.1. Okay? So if you ever have the same y, it's your constant rate of change would be zero, okay, all the way across. So it would actually be, it would end up being a horizontal line, okay. But that is not what we're looking for. We're looking for a constant rate of change of 0.1. Okay, so the next one. How much is it from here to here? Hopefully you can tell it's 0.1. That's the number we want, right? So all I need is basically 0 0.1 over 1. 0 0.1 over 1, when I divide that, I get 0 0.1, right? So how much is it from here to here? How much is it from here to here? Do you all catch this? Each time I'm going up by 0 0.1, right? So my delta Y is 0.1. Okay, how much is it from here to here? How about from here to here? Here to here, and here to here. Okay, so I have 0 0.1 over 5. Okay, now, if I divide 0 0.1 by 5, am I going to get this number here? That's all I need to know. And hopefully you know the answer is no. If I divide this, I don't know what the number is, but I know it's going to not be the same number. It would have to be 0.1 over 1. So this would have to change by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? If I, if I just wanted to make sure, I would say 0.1 divided by 5. Okay? 5 into 10 is 2. So this is not correct. Okay? Now we have letter G. Now, this is why some of us messed up. I don't even want to do this one at first because some people mess this up, but they might not mess this up. 1.5 and 1. I get 0.5, don't I? Well, here, if I do 1.0, Take away 0 0.5. Okay. Basically, doesn't that become a 10? 10 minus 5 is 5. So this is changing by 0.5. Okay. And right here, 2.5 to 2. You can see that. 2.5 minus 2. Can't I tell? That's 0.5. Okay, so I know I skipped this one, but it also is similar to this. It will be 0.5 if I do my regrouping. 
Now, how much is from here to here? That's the easy one, right? Five, 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 five. Okay, so I basically have a delta y of 0.5 and an x of 5. Okay, so I'm going to divide 0.5 divided by 5. There's no decimal here, so I'm going to put it here. 5 into 5, 1, 5, 0. So I get 0.1. Okay? So guess what? We have our answer, right? 0.1. That's our constant rate of change. So our answer is G. Okay? Now, I would do this one, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do it. Okay? For the sake of time, I'm not going to do it. But if I did, I would be like, okay, well, that is, when I subtract, I get 5. And I can already tell from here, that's 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 whole. Okay? So that's not going to work. So, notice, well, that one took a lot of time to do. Some of these just take a while. Okay? This one should not. A recipe says to use three cups of flour to make 48 cookies. What is the constant of proportionality? Constant of proportionality K, Y over X, that is our, on our formula chart, that relates the number of cookies made Y, three cups of flour to make 48 cookies. So number of cookies is what? Y to the number of cups of flour, x. So y is 48, it says it, cookies, y, cups of flour, x, over 3, x which is 3. So I just divide 48 divided by 3, 1, only one answer will work, just saying at that point, 1, 8. 3 into 18, 6. Okay, so it's 16. Last one. This is what we see a lot of, so I'm going to hustle. Which answer choices represent a person burning 90 calories by climbing 18 flights of stairs? Okay, 90 calories by burning by climbing 18 flights of stairs, okay? So, let's look here. So if you think about it, 90 calories and 18 flights of stairs. What I would do, this is me, I would divide it because that's going to tell me calories per flight. So 18 won't go into 9. 18 into 90, I'm just taking a guess. 40. Okay, so it goes in 5 times. So basically, 5 calories per flight. Okay? So if I go 1 flight of stairs, I go 5, right? I burn 5 calories. So if I go 2 flights of stairs, how many would that be? 10. Okay, and you can also do, we could do, if I wanted to, I could do constant rate of change. I could say, oh, well from here to here is 10, here to here is 2, here to here is 10, here to here is 2. So I have 10 over 2, which gives me what? 5, the constant rate of change. Okay. And it is, like we said, it was 5 calories per flight of stairs. Okay? And I don't know if you remember when we talked about per, that means a number next to a letter. Not this. Because that has a plus. So right now I'm thinking it is B. C says 1 flight is 18. But we figured it out. 1 flight was 5 calories, so that's not right. So I know two are wrong. I'm pretty sure one is right. And then it says a person climbs uh, five flights 